Among the families, we spoke with Nicole Hockley, who lost six-year-old Dylan, and Bill Sherlock, whose wife Mary was the school psychologist. In terms of the things that are being considered in Washington, are any of them at the top of your priority list? If you could have one thing or you could have two, what would you choose? Personally, I would, I would think the ma limiting magazine size and universal background check. If and I had anything, to pick two. And anything that helps reduce um, gun trafficking yeah. as well yeah. in the straw purchases, yeah. you know, that you can't buy a gun for someone else. Straw purchases are those when a person who has a clean record buys a gun right. for a person who would not have been able to pass a background check. Correct. It happens that's, all the time. That's common sense, isn't it? Do any of you fear that after only four months, the impact of this on the Congress is beginning to fade, and the memory of how we felt on that day is beginning to fade. This is a marathon, and you have to be prepared to run all 26 miles. This is not a sprint. That's been the typical reaction. Get the legislation, get it now, and then it, it fades. Time goes by, new cycles happen, other headlines come up. You know, when you take a multifaceted ap approach, and you can build a wagon big enough for a grassroots movement to get involved, it has the legs to go the 26 miles. This is a lifelong pursuit for all of you? Yes. Yeah. Shame on me if it's not. How do you stay in touch with the child that you lost? Um, we had Dylan uh, cremated. So um, I have his urn uh, next to his picture. Uh, in a cupboard in our bedroom um, on, a, on a dresser. Every morning, I kiss him good morning and say hi. And he's the, the last thing I kiss before I go to bed at night. And every night I beg for him to come to me in my dreams so that I can see him again. And uh, during the day, I just focus on what I need to do to honor him and make change.